Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through our social media platforms. Pleasure to be joined this week by the man who shot 67 in the final round of last week's U.S. Open, the low final round, in fact, leading to a runner-up finish in San Francisco. Michael Thompson joins us from Hartford, Connecticut, site of this week's Travelers Championship. And hey Michael, thanks for the time and congratulations on a magnificent performance at the Olympic Club. Thank you, Swanee. Gr glad to be here. We're going to jump right in. A lot of questions from your fans that uh, want to know the secret, the secret to your success out in San Francisco. Here's one that uh, comes in through the tour report from up to par. It says, were you as calm as you appeared to be on Sunday or is acting another one of your remarkable skills? You know, actually, uh, Sunday I felt really, really calm. I uh, was looking forward to playing with David Toms, who's also a very calm player. I had a good game plan. I was really focused on that. I really didn't get nervous until 17 when I uh, understood that that putt had some meaning to it. So, you know, it, uh, it was a great learning experience and, uh, and, and I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, 67 for uh, Michael Thompson uh, on the way to a career best finish on the PGA Tour, by the way. Stephen Miller, one of his fans on Facebook checking in, says uh, hats off to you, Michael. You almost came away with the big prize. Do you think that the tough tests involving U.S. or British Opens might suit you in future events as well? Oh, absolutely. Uh, growing up, I always was able to hit the ball really low and uh, very piercing. I was a great, great putter as well. And, and I think those things really do benefit you, especially in the bigger tournaments, because uh, they come naturally to me. So I, I'm really looking forward to my first British Open. I don't know when that'll be, hopefully this year. But uh, as I said last week, all of last week, I love USGA events. I think they're a blast, even though they're extremely hard. And uh, I look forward to everyone from here on out. Michael mentioned uh, his putting, in fact, uh, fifth on the PGA Tour in strokes gain putting, probably the strongest aspect of his game, something that one of his fans picked up on, checking in through Twitter this week is double par pickup. It says, being such a good putter, what's your routine during a practice putting session? Uh, the biggest thing I do when, I, uh, when I'm practicing my putting is, one, I'm just getting a uh, feel for the greens. And, I, and what I'll do is I'll start usually by hitting three footers. I'll go in a circle around the hole and, and just try to make every one and get a feel for the speed of the greens. Then I'll move out a little bit uh, longer, five feet, ten feet, and I'll practice actually making putts at different speeds. So I get a feel for what speed I like to, to see the ball go in the hole. And then to, to finish it off, I'll, I'll do a drill called the 369 drill. And I'll put a tee down at three feet, six feet, at nine feet, and I'll use two balls, and I gotta make six in a row. And if I miss any of them, I start back at the three footer. And uh, when I do that, that gives me the confidence to know that I can go out and make a nine footer uh, when I need to. Another question coming in through Twitter from at Yukon Gold. It says, after that final round 62 at TPC River Highlands, Got to be feeling good about your game this week. Do you like your chances at the Travelers? You know, I really do. I've, I've got some great experience here. Uh, obviously, last year with the 62 and and, uh, and a great finish. So I'm really looking forward to this course uh, in this tournament. I, I, I love the golf course. I love the fans. I love the atmosphere. And uh, I love Connecticut. So it's uh, it's going to be a great uh, great week. I'm going to go out and work hard this uh, the ne next couple days and make sure I'm ready to go. and. And come Sunday, we'll, we'll see what happens. Michael Thompson, 2008 graduate of the University of Alabama. A fan, to Tulane Tommy, checking in through the tour report. Michael, he says you played your first two years at Tulane before Katrina hit, shut down the golf program. Then you finished your career at Alabama. He says you've got a nice Alabama head cover, but where's the Tulane love? You know, I'm a converted Crimson Tider. You know, it's, uh, that's where I graduated from. That's that's where my allegiance lies now. So uh, roll tide all the way. <laughs> uh, another one uh, through Twitter. We'll keep the uh, Alabama theme going here from CG Hardy 21 for Michael Thompson. Do you think Bama can take its third out of the last four BCS national championships? Well, that's that's always a tough one, but uh, they're definitely going to be in contention. I you know they're going to have a young team this year. They lost a lot of talent last year, but. You know, Nick Saban and his recruiting are, uh, he's pretty phenomenal in the kind of guys and quality of guys that he brings into the program. So I'm, I'm looking forward to definitely going and watching a few games myself this year. So we'll, uh, I'll definitely have my bid in for, the, for Alabama and the national champions, but uh, we'll see. 
And one more for uh, Michael Thompson. By the way, the first Eagle Scout to be a guest on Direct Connect. Here we go. From Silver Joe through the tour report. How did you find the time, dedication, and commitment to become an Eagle Scout while going through the hours of practice it takes to achieve a proficient golf game? Plenty of would-be Eagles would like to know, he says. You know, it's uh, it's something my, my parents raised me to be. They, they raised me to be a, uh, a very well-rounded young man. Uh, I played soccer all the way through high school as well, so golf wasn't my only sport. But uh, the scouting was always a passion of mine, just because I loved the trips, I loved the, the camaraderie between the, the, the scouts within the troop, uh, the leadership roles that I held within the troop, and also just uh, striving to achieve that, that top rank of Eagle. And only 2% of all uh, scouts become Eagle, and, and you know, that that kind of drove me to want to want to go for the the the, the finish really, um, and it's something that I'm most proud of. It's it's the one accomplishment that uh, I can look back on, and uh, nobody can take it away from me. And and uh, I can proudly say that I'm an Eagle Scout. And you should be proud of it, Michael Thompson. Looking for Eagles and birdies this week at the Travelers Championship. Uh, play well, Michael. We appreciate your time. Thanks for connecting with us. All right. Thank you very much. Glad to be here.